Good, happy Monday morning, October 28, 2019. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Monday morning, so let's begin. First up, James Foley's parents, grateful ISIS leader, was found. Hope U.S. hostages will be released. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9, Mike Cronin. out the door when it matters most for more than a decade he's been right there everywhere and when american jobs are on the line he leads the charge abc's world news tonight with david muir is america's most watched newscast and we thank you diane and john foley are grateful the leader of isis was found i applaud um, the president the intelligence agency the brave troops who went in and made that happen. In 2014, their son, New Hampshire journalist James Foley, was murdered by ISIS fighters after being kidnapped in Syria. The Foley's say the death of Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is significant, but does not end the threat. This will be a blow to them, but, but we've got to be ready for retaliation, and they're not defeated yet, in my estimation. They're very shrewd. Um, hateful group. Diane says U.S. leadership is needed in the region to build coalitions. The Foley's now hope American intelligence can be used to rescue innocent hostages. It's amazing that al Baghdadi was searched for and found um, against their best efforts. Um, it's sad that we couldn't um, provide those efforts and technology and skill and expertise to get uh, uh, other Americans home. We have the expertise to find them and bring them home. And this um, finding out Baghdadi is proof of that. The Foley's expect to speak with President Trump and say they'll convey that message. I believe ISIS is like grass. You know, you mow it, but it continues to grow. And I don't think the, uh, the um, uh, elimination of al-Baghdadi is the final answer. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. New Hampshire Congressional Delegation Praise Mission to Find Kill ISIS Leader. Let's take a listen to that video from... WMUR News 9. Together on a beautiful day, what better place to be than in your own backyard? Hi, New Hampshire senators are also reacting to the news. Senator Jean Shaheen says getting rid of the leader of ISIS is important, but that we must remain vigilant in the fight against terrorism. Well, we know that his leadership is what led to the horrific acts uh, that I perpetrated in so many ways. This is a first step in getting some justice for all of those um, families who have been affected by the horrific actions of ISIS. Senator Hassan adds, quote, ISIS has inflicted untold evil across the globe, including murdering James Foley, Stephen Sotloff, and so many others, and we must continue to bring its leaders to justice. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. High waves, little flooding on first day of King Tide. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9, Siobhan Lopez.
despite the wind and rain, many ventured down to the seawall in Hampton late this morning to see the king tide at its peak. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's uh, so they wanted to see the Atlantic Ocean, so I said, let's go to Hampton Beach and see the Atlantic Ocean. Kendra Lewis just moved here from California and has guests in town from the West Coast, all getting to experience the Atlantic Ocean together. Definitely a big disparity from uh, the temperature. It was 90 degrees when I left Chico, and so... This is a big drop. Never uh, actually put my hand in the Atlantic Ocean, and uh, we're like, wow, it's pretty unpleasant out. Maybe I can just roll down the window and touch the water without actually getting wet. Fresh off a Florida vacation, Tanya Pellerin drove to Hampton from Auburn just to get a look at the waves. I don't know. The weather was really nice, but it's really nice to be back home. I want snow now. <laughs> Waves crashing up against the seawall made their way over onto the roads. King tides are the highest high tides and happen several times a year when the moon is in alignment with the sun and closest to Earth. Many were out snapping photos. The State Department of Environmental Services wants to see them. Holding its annual King Tide Photo Contest, the agency wants to see what areas are impacted by coastal flooding to see the potential for sea level rise. Now we do have more information about that photo contest on our website, WWR.com, as well as our mobile app. These king tides will last through Tuesday, so some more flooding could be expected tomorrow afternoon and Tuesday afternoon. The next high tide is tonight at 1130. We're live in Hampton. Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Threat made against Concord High School. A threat on social media was made against the school Sunday and police have located the individual suspect to be involved. An unspecific threat was made against Concord High School Sunday on social media according to school officials and Police, Donna Pally, and administrator offering superintendent services to the Concord School District sent an alert to parents notifying them about the threat and that police have located the individual with the incident. All schools will be open Monday with extra police presence for our peace of mind, she said. She also said, I've been in communication with the Concord Police Department throughout this afternoon and evening, Pally said. I will continue to monitor the situation and if there is any change regarding school openings, I will communicate that as soon as possible. Lieutenant Sean Ford the commander of the Criminal Investigation Unit said detectives worked the case for most of the day Sunday after the threat was discovered. The department will have extra patrols at all of the schools during the day. More information about the case is expected to be released Monday, he added. Trick or treats. Enjoy Halloween fun at Northeast Delta Dental Stadium. Let's take a look at that video from WMUR News 9. When family and friends come together on a beautiful day, what better place to be than in your own backyard? Well, we all know it was rainy and nasty <laughs> out, but that did not dampen the Halloween spirits at Northeast Delta Dental Stadium. It's like a lot of fun. Trick-or-treaters were invited to the ballpark for a free night of Halloween fun. There was a Monster Mash dance party, a costume contest, Halloween movies, and of course some trick-or-treating. And the costumes there, as you can see, did not disappoint. The staff last year came up to me last year, right around Halloween, and said next year we really should do a, you know trick-or-treating at the ballpark. And we really thought it would be a great
great opportunity to open up the ballpark to the community. It wasn't what we expected. It definitely exceeded our expectations, and we're so happy to be able to provide this uh, for the city of Manchester and the surrounding communities and look forward to doing it again. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Sounds like a fun event yesterday. U.S. futures point to a slightly higher open. U.S. stock futures were slightly higher Monday morning as investors prepared for the busiest week of earning season. Manhunt underway for a gunman who stormed a college party, killing two in Texas. Let's take a listen to that video from ABC News. Now to the homecoming party that turned deadly in Texas. Hundreds celebrating near the Commerce campus of Texas A&M when a gunman showed up firing into the crowd, killing two people, injuring a dozen more, then getting away. Tonight, police are asking for help in finding the killer. ABC's Marcus Moore is on the scene in Greenville, Texas. Tonight, an urgent manhunt underway in Texas. Authorities say a single shooter stormed into a packed party to celebrate the Texas A&M Commerce homecoming, killing two and injuring a dozen others. The first shots ringing out just after midnight. We're in a need. Multiple units. I've got hundreds of people. About 750 people, mostly in their late teens and early 20s, were at the party, not affiliated with the university, when authorities say the shooter entered through the back door. It was complete chaos. As people fled for safety and deputies attempted to locate the shooter. Three officers already on the scene when the gunfire began, responding to parking complaints. Some of the injured cut by glass trying to escape. We breaking glass out the window trying to get out. Authorities say some witnesses have not helped in the investigation. Tonight they are pleading with parents to get their kids to come forward. It appalls me that... Uh, as many folks that were there have not been able to give us a better description of this uh, shooter. I really beg them to, uh, to get their children to give us information about this shooter. We need to get him off the street as soon as possible. And, Tom, officials here say that the shooter likely targeted his first victim and then fired randomly after that, and that this crowded party gave him the perfect opportunity to carry out his deadly goal. Tom? Marcus Moore with a violent night there in Texas. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that's it for this morning edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another newscast. And I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Goodbye, everyone.